I hurriedly returned home as my business trip got cancelled. When I opened the front door in the late afternoon, there were my husband's work shoes there for some reason. Moreover, there were women's shoes next to them that I didn't recognize. Suppressing any noise, I closed the front door and headed towards the back of the house, suspecting the worst. The ominous premonition proved true as I heard the voices of a man and a woman from the bedroom. With my heart pounding, I held my smartphone ready and gently opened the bedroom door. There, the worst scene unfolded before me. My husband was in the middle of enjoying himself with his affair partner. When I saw the other woman, my legs felt weak. After all, my husband's affair partner turned out to be my brother's wife. As the act concluded, the two lay side by side, embracing each other and starting a conversation. You are truly the best, much better than that guy. You are too. You looked incredibly cute today. Your wife doesn't know, does she? If she finds out, you will be in big trouble. She is too slow to notice. It's okay, it's okay. As I recorded the video, I felt a trembling sensation in the back of my throat. What are they doing to me? I won't forgive them. I will show them hell. After all this, my foolish husband and sister-in-law will cry and scream in despair. My name is Monica, and I'm a 30-year-old housewife. My family consists of my father, who is a teacher, my mother, and my elder brother Edward, who is three years older. My brother has always been my source of pride, excelling in both academics and sports since we were kids. He always gets top grades in school and is a regular in football, which he has learned since he was a child. I was always attached to my older brother, who was dependable and kind, and I would always go around saying, Edward, Edward. On the other hand, I was just an average girl in terms of grace and appearance. However, my brother cherished me, always taking care of me. This was back in my childhood. I was targeted by the local troublemakers, teased, and had my belongings destroyed. At first, I endured it alone, but unable to bear it any longer. I consulted my brother. My brother, furious, confronted the troublemakers alone and gave them a good beating. The troublemakers brought by my brother had tears in their eyes and apologized to me. Since then, I was no longer targeted and I gained a peaceful life. From that time, my brother became my hero. As my brother grew up, he entered a top-tier university, and three years later, I went to university. There, I was able to make many friends. One of my close friends especially was Lee. I met Lee, who had a friendly and cute appearance, in the same circle, and we became good friends. Even after graduating from university, we often went out for meals sharing updates, and discussing our respective love lives. At that time, I was in my second year at an advertising company. On the other hand, Lee had resigned from her full-time job and was working as a temp. During that period, I had broken up with my then-boyfriend about half a year ago. Monica, haven't you been in love lately? Upon Lee's question, I slightly tilted my head. Hmm, it's been only half a year since I broke up with my ex-boyfriend. So for now, I will focus on my work. After saying that, Lee frowned it. No way, we are still young, so we should be actively dating. How about I introduce you to a friend from my high school days? He's a great guy. Huh? If you say so. This is how I was introduced to Aaron, who would later become my husband. He was a salesman for a small business, 
and was tall and handsome. The moment I saw him, I thought he was great. Aaron is very kind, and I think he's perfect for you, Monica. Why don't we exchange contact information? With Lee's encouragement, we exchanged contact information. Then, the two of us started going out to eat together. Aaron seems to like me and asked me to go out with him, which I gladly accepted, and we began dating. It must have been about six months after I started dating Aaron. Lee had invited me to dinner. Listen, Monica, I was dumped by him. Lee had a boyfriend since university, and she revealed that they had broken up. I tried to comfort her. Lee, you will find someone new quickly. Cheer up. I'm already 25. I want to marry the next person I date. I want someone kind, cool, with a good income. At that moment, I thought of my brother. He worked for a major IT company back then, and his income was quite good. If I remember it correctly, he didn't have a girlfriend. Lee had introduced me to Aaron, so I felt indebted to her. So I suggested to her, If you want, how about meeting my brother? Huh? Your brother? When I showed her a photo of my brother on my phone, Lee's face lit up. No way! Your brother is so cool, and he works for Microsoft? If such a person was available, you should have introduced him earlier. Wait a minute. Didn't you have a boyfriend until recently? I couldn't help but chuckle. Still, since Lee was enthusiastic, I decided to introduce her to my brother. On another day, I called my brother and introduced him to Lee. Lee then launched a vigorous attack on my brother. My brother didn't seem to mind Lee's cute and earnest efforts. After a while, they both reported that they had started dating. I genuinely felt happy for them. About two years later, during a meal with Lee, she told me this. Hey Monica, I've decided to marry Edward. Really? You finally made it to the goal. I can't believe you're going to be my sister-in-law. It's all thanks to you. Even after becoming relatives, let's get along well. You introduced me to Aaron. I'm glad we have such a connection. What about you and Aaron, Monica? Any plans for marriage? Actually, we've been talking about getting married soon. If you and my brother are getting married, we might consider it afterward. Huh? Really? So both of us will be getting married? Let's make speech at each other's weddings. Sounds good. Let's stay close as relatives after the weddings. Several months later, my brother and Lee got married as promised. I gave a speech at their wedding. Aaron also attended the ceremony as my fiancé, and we celebrated their new beginning together. Six months after my brother and Lee's wedding, Aaron and I had our wedding. I have good memories of my brother crying at the wedding. Aaron, I'm counting on you to take care of Monica. Of course, Edward. I will do my best as a brother from now on. I watched the conversation between my brother and Aaron with a smile. Afterward, my brother and Lee started living in a high-rise apartment, and Aaron and I also rented an apartment to begin a new life. However, married life was far from what I had imagined. Aaron didn't do any housework. Since we are married, housework is a wife's job, right? He pushed everything on to me and I reluctantly followed his lead, handling all the household chores. One year after our marriage, Aaron got into trouble with his boss and resigned from his job. Later, he found a new job through connections and after the transfer, started coming home later and later. As he worked in sales, socializing was unavoidable, but our conversations dwindled. 
and he began to show a somewhat indifferent attitude. Every day, I met with a somewhat curt attitude. Then one day, I was scheduled to go on a business trip for a week for work. Aaron, I will be going on a one-week business trip next week. I thought he would say something like, Who's going to do the housework during that time? But surprisingly, he seemed happy about it. All right, take care and come back safely. No need for souvenirs. Yes, thank you. And so, the following week, I boarded a plane and headed for my business trip because I efficiently handled my work at the business trip destination. I finished earlier than planned, allowing me to return home one day earlier. I hesitated to contact my husband, but decided to surprise him by returning home in the early afternoon. Thus, I reached home in the late afternoon without telling Aaron. Upon my arrival, I noticed my husband's work shoes at the entrance. He was supposed to be at work. Moreover, next to his shoes were unfamiliar woman's shoes. I thought to myself that this couldn't be, so I quietly closed the entrance door without making any noise and headed towards the back of the house. My worst fears were confirmed when I heard voices of a man and a woman coming from the bedroom. Suppressing my pounding heart, I quietly opened the bedroom door, holding my smartphone. There, the worst scene unfolded before my eyes. They were in cold in the act. I almost collapsed upon seeing the woman, realizing it was none other than my close friend Lee. I trembled as I captured the scene with shaky hands on my phone. As the act concluded, the two lay side by side on the bed and began a conversation while embracing each other. Aaron, you're truly amazing. Much better than that guy. You're pretty amazing too. You looked really cute today. Monica probably hasn't found out, right? It would be a big problem if she did. She is clueless because she is dense. It's okay, it's okay. I felt a shiver down my spine as I recorded the video. What are these guys doing to me? I will never forgive them. I will give them hell. I opened the bedroom door with a bang and rushed into the bedroom. What? Monica, why? You were supposed to be on a business trip. Aaron was surprised, hastily trying to cover his naked body. I glared at the two with bloodshot eyes. I finished my business trip early and came home to find, what the hell are you guys doing here? Well, looks like we got caught. It was Lee who said that. I turned to her. Lee, what the hell do you think you are doing? Fooling around with Aaron despite having my brother. Since when has this been going on? Since high school, but... We couldn't resist each other after we got married. Since high school? And yet, you introduced Aaron to me? Lee lifted the corner of her mouth. Yes, I never liked your stuck-up attitude from the beginning. That's why I gave you my leftovers. You should be grateful since you've been happy all along. No, it can't be true. I'm not lying. I hated you. This situation is excellent proof. I see. I understand. I took a deep breath and informed them. I've already sent the evidence video to my brother. What? In an instant, both of their faces turned pale. If my husband and my brother's wife had a relationship, it would undoubtedly cause a huge commotion. They started to panic. W what the hell are you doing? Don't tell my boss anything. Exactly. Don't send the video to Edward. Yes. In fact, my brother had started a company and became its president before marrying Lee. My husband's new job was with my brother's company. 
I stood in their way as they tried to escape in their disheveled state. My brother will be here soon, so behave yourselves. Hey, stop it! Get out of the way! Move aside, you foolish woman! While we were grappling, the doorbell rang. My brother had arrived. Entering through the front door, he stood in the living room, contemplating something as he observed the frozen pair. Now, where should we start? Is it true that you had a relationship with him? No, it's a misunderstanding. I have the video evidence that Monica sent to me, so there's no excuse. Now tell me the details of how it all happened. Reluctantly, Lee turned pale and began to speak. She revealed that she and Aaron, though not dating during high school, had a physical relationship. After marriage, they coincidentally met outside, went for a meal, and ended up in a hotel that same day. She confessed to meeting secretly with Aaron behind my and my brother's backs. Hearing all this, my brother let out a deep sigh. I understand the story. Lee, we are getting a divorce. What? Are you serious? Listen, the one I truly love is you. You only love my money, right? He confronted Lee by presenting credit card statements. After we got married, it was all about luxury, from brands to cosmetic treatments for you. I've closed my eyes to such things because you are my beloved wife. But I can't tolerate this anymore after being subjected to such actions. Our divorce is a done deal. No way! Lee drooped her head, and next to her, a trembling arm caught the attention of my brother. Now, it's your turn. Stand up! I yes When my husband stood up, my brother grabbed his collar and delivered a clean jab. Unable to take a defensive stance, Aaron was slammed to the floor with a thud. He groaned, his mouth opening and closing as he looked at my brother. This is for laying hands on my woman. And this is for hurting my sister. My brother forced Aaron, who couldn't get up on his own, to stand and deliver another jab. Once again, Aaron was slammed to the floor, visibly struggling, his face turning bright red. I looked down at him with cold eyes. I give up! Please spare me! Upon hearing my husband's plea, my brother finally backed away. I had received reports from your department head. He often complained that you were frequently absent during work hours, yet your sales performance was terrible. What? Our company's sales car was parked in front of this house. Most likely, you were meeting with Lee during work hours, right? The fact that you are at home during this time is evidence enough. Th that My husband's eyes starting to wander suddenly. To engage in such behavior during working hours is something I, as a professional, cannot overlook. Despite your poor sales performance, I was willing to turn a blind eye because you are my cute sister's husband. However, if you are skipping work for an affair, that's a different story. I'm firing you. W what Fired? That's a problem, President! My husband clung to my brother, but was easily struck off. Then, he staggered towards me, vying deeply to apologize. Monica, I'm truly sorry for what I have done. Look at me. I'm apologizing, so please forgive me. And then, maybe your brother will. Stop kidding me. Before I knew it, I was raising my voice. I can't forgive you for cheating with my friend. We are getting a divorce too. Be prepared, because I am going to demand alimony for both of you. Divorce? Alimony? To Lee and Aaron's astonishment, my brother told them this with a smile. Of course. 
I will also demand compensation. I will go to court if I have to, but I will make sure to collect it. Lee and Aaron went into a frenzy, crying and pleading. That's why my brother kicked them out of the house. Later on, divorces were finalized for both me and Aaron, as well as my brother and Lee. With the help of my brother's acquaintance, a lawyer, the divorces went smoothly. My brother and I each demanded $30,000 from our ex spouses and their affair partners. They ended up paying $60,000 each in compensation, borrowing money to tearfully settle the debt. Lee, who used to be a housewife, was disowned by her family and had to resort to night work. Aaron, who got fired from my brother's company, spent his day's job hunting and worked a night job in cleaning to make ends meet. They lived together for a while, but constant fights eventually led to a breakup. There were times when they sought refuge with us, but my brother and I firmly turned them away, so I have no idea about their life afterward. One thing was certain, they were leading miserable lives. On the other hand, my brother and I had a meal together after the commotion settled down. I'm really sorry, Edward, for introducing her to you. You are not to blame. We've both been through a lot this time. My brother said this, patting my head like he used to do when we were younger. From now on, I want to work hard and watch over my precious brother until he finds true happiness. Of course, I will pursue my own happiness too.